Hey guys, welcome back to another math lesson with HK Math and Science. This video will be about equations with fractions and the learning intention for today is to learn how to solve equations with fractions and by the end of this lesson we should understand that fractions are used in algebra to indicate division. Understand that to solve an equation with a fraction it is helpful to multiply both sides by its denominator and finally we should be able to solve equations involving fractions. Let's just pause the video here and take a couple of minutes to write these down. Alright, so the first thing we need to know for this lesson is that the fraction means division. So a over b just means a divided by b. To solve an equation that has a fraction on one, on one side, we need to multiply both sides by the denominator. So we have x over 5 equals 4 like that. To get rid of the 5 on the left, we need to multiply it by 5. Anything we, have to, we do on the left, we have to do on the right as well. Ooh, so we have to multiply the 4 by 5 as well. That gives me these two cancel out. That gives me x equals 20 there. So to get rid of a denominator, since that's division, you just multiply it by the same number. All right, another example I have here, x over 3 plus 5 equals 8. You might think we multiply it by 3 first because of one mass maybe. Uh, it says division and multiplication comes first. But in this case, it's x over 3 plus 5 equals 8. In equations like this, we always go from stuff that is furthest from the x first. So we get rid of this first and then that. So our first step would actually be to subtract 5 to get rid of that. That gives me x over 3 equals 3 because I need to subtract 5 on this. Uh, just elaborating on that a bit, the expressions x over 3 plus 2 and x plus 2 over 3 are different even though they, they do look pretty similar as demonstrated in these flowcharts. So what happens in this left one? We do x divided by 3 first, which is x over 3 and then plus 2 when working it out. But when we're get, getting rid of um, each one to get x by itself, so let's just say x th over 3 plus um, 2, let's say just equals 0. To move it, uh, to move these over to get x by itself, we need to get rid of the 2 first. So we subtract 2 here, that gives me x over 3 equals negative 2, and then we need to get rid of that 3 by multiplying both sides by 3. That gives me x equals negative 6. For this one on the other hand, because the plus 2 is directly next to the x, so they're on the same level there, same level of the fraction, we need to get rid of the 3 first this time. So when we're moving it over, we multiply by 3 first, and then we subtract 2. So there's a couple of differences between the left one and the right one there. Alright, let's put this into practice first. Let's solve each of the following equations. Let's start with a. This one's a bit more straightforward. a over 7 equals 3. We just need to get rid of the 7 here. To do that, we need to multiply both sides by 7. So that gives me 8 over 7 times 7 equals 3 times 7. And these two cancel out, they disappear, and that becomes A equals 3 times 7, which equals 21. Now let's try question B, 5, 5y over 3 equals 10. Yeah, in this case, we get rid of the 3 first, that's further away from y. Going to multiply both sides by 3 times 3 equals 10 times 3. That gives me 5y on this side and 30 on that side. Now I need to divide both sides by 5 because that's the opposite of 5 times y. Divide both sides by 5 and that gives me y equals 6 because these two cancel out and 30 divided by 5 is 6. Now moving on to the next question I have c um, 3x over 4 plus 7 equals 13. In this case, this is furthest from the x, so I'm going to subtract 7 on both sides to get rid of that. That gives me minus 7 there, equals 13 minus 7. That gives me 3x over 4 here, equals 13 minus 7, that is 6. Now to get rid of the 4 on both sides, I need to multiply both sides by 4. That gives me 3x here and 24 on the right. Now I need to get rid of the 3, so I need to divide both sides by 3. And that gives me x equals 8. So just a series of following steps here. Alright, now finally question D. This one should be our hardest one, but let's try and follow along. We have 2x minus 3 on 5 equals 3. And this one, this is furthest from the x. These are on the same level, so we need to get rid of the 5 first. going to multiply both sides by 5. I'll just write that, I'll just squeeze that in there. That gives me 2x minus 3 equals 15. Now I need to get rid of negative 3 on both sides. Do that by adding 3 on both sides. So that's 2x minus 3 plus 3 equals 15 plus 3. That gives me 2x here and 18 there. 
And now I need to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2. That gives me x equals 9. Yeah, hopefully you guys are following along here, but remember just ask your teacher in class if you do have any questions. Alright, now moving on, it's time for you guys to have a go. Just pause the video here and work out these questions on your own and just unpause it when you're ready to go through them with me. Alright, so the first question, P equals 10 over 5. P over 10 equals 5, sorry. I need to multiply both sides by 10. That gets rid of these 10s. That gives me P here and P equals 50. Give yourself a tick if you got that one correct. Now moving on to the next question, B, 2M over 5 equals 4. I need to multiply both sides by 5 first to get rid of the fraction there. Equals 4 times 5. That gives me 2M equals 20. Now I need to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2. That gives me M equals 10. You give yourself a tick if you got that one correct. Moving on to the next question, question C. 3u over 5 plus 8 equals 11. Uh, this one's furthest away from the u, so we're going to get rid of that one first. 3u over 5 plus 8 minus 8. We need to do the opposite of that to get rid of that. Equals 11 minus 8. So 3u over 5 equals um, 3 there. Now I need to multiply both sides by 5 to get rid of that. So that disappears. We get 3u here and 15 there. And now to get rid of that, that 3, I need to divide it by 3. Just do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. That gives me u equals 5. These two cancel out as well. Give yourself a tick if you got that one correct. Now moving on to the last one, question D. I have 2x plus 3 over 7 equals 3. This one's the furthest. I'm going to multiply both sides by 7 to get rid of that. That gives me 2x plus 3 equals 21. Now subtract 3 from both sides minus 3 equals 21 minus 3 those two cancel out that gives me 2x equals 18 over here now let's divide both sides by 2 that gives me x equals 9 give yourself a tick if you got that one correct all right so just a couple more questions for you to do this one's a little bit trickier because this is on the left here this time just to confuse you a bit we have 4 plus 5x over 2 equals 29 we need to solve for x. So it might be confusing because the 4 is here. But remember, uh, we always take the sign that's in front of it. There's no sign there, so that just means plus 4. That's exactly the same as saying 5x over 2 plus 4 equals 29. So don't let that confuse you. So 5x over 2 plus 4 minus 4, because we're trying to get rid of that 4. We need to subtract 4 on this side. That gives me... 29 minus 4, so 5x over 2 is going to be 25. Now I need to multiply both sides by 2. That gives me 5x equals 50. Now divide both sides by 5. Sorry, I'm running out of space here. x is going to equal 10. These two cancel out. And this second question here, 7 minus 2x over 3 equals 5. I need to get rid of that one first. Don't let this one confuse you as well. There's nothing in front of that, so that means it's a positive. That's exactly the same as writing. Negative 2x over 3 plus 7 equals 5. So just rearrange the question first if it is confusing you. So now we need to get rid of the 7. That becomes negative 2x over 3 plus 7 minus 7 equals 5 minus 7. And that gives me negative 2x over 3 equals negative 2. Now to get rid of the negative, um, the 3 over here, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. I'll just write that like this here. That gives me negative 2x equals negative 6. Now I need to divide both sides by negative 2, not just 2. That gets rid of that. And x therefore becomes 3. Because we're dividing negative 6 by negative 2, our answer is going to be positive, and that is 3. Right, guys, now it's your turn. Let's just pause the video here and have a go at these ones by yourself. Alright, welcome back. Let's have a go at this one here. We have 2 plus 5x over 3 equals 12. Alright, we know that's plus plus, so we can just move it over by subtracting 2 on both sides. I won't rearrange it this time, just for those that are comfortable not rearranging it. These cancel over here. That becomes 5x over 3 equals 10. 
to get rid of the 3, we need to multiply both sides by 3. That gives me 5x equals 30. Now I need to divide both sides by 5. That gives me x equals 6. Give yourself a tick if you got that correct. Now moving on to the next one, question D. I have 10 minus 2x over 3 equals 4. So I need to start by moving the 10 over. And I can do that by subtracting 10 from both sides. I'll rearrange this one. Plus 10 minus 10 equals 4 minus 10. So I'm left with negative 2x over 3 equals negative 6. Now I need to multiply 3 on both sides. To get rid of that 3, that gives me negative 2x equals negative 18. And now I need to get rid of the negative 2 by dividing it by negative 2 on both sides. That gives me x equals 9. Give yourself a tick if you got that one correct. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys do become experts on working with fractions in algebra after you do some practice questions yourself. And hopefully you guys now understand that fractions are used in algebra to indicate division. Also understand that to solve an equation with a fraction, it is helpful to multiply both sides by its denominator. And finally, can solve equations involving fractions. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all back online. Uh -huh.